Om Shanti. This is the second of Jagta Murli of last season, 15th November 2016. The heading is today. Bab Dada came in Shanti one. Today, Bab Dada came in Shanti one, but took the children on a tour of their future capital Delhi. He therefore remembered the different places in Delhi again and again. This is the Avyakta Murli of 15th November 2016, second Murli of last season. Baba is, the heading is, Today Bab Dada came in Shantivan, but took the children on a tour of their future capital, Delhi. He therefore remembered the different places in Delhi again and again. So this is a very short Murli, okay? And, uh, but, and we had discussed this Murli last time. We had taken out about 30 questions, 30 or no, 40 questions from this Murli and we tried to answer those questions on four consecutive days. So, what to discuss from this Murli? There are four things, four or five things I would like to discuss. First is spiritual meeting. Second, spiritual excuses and objections. Bahane and Etraz. Spiritual excuses and objections. Third, spiritual exhaustion. If you get spiritually tired, what to do? Fourth, spiritual tour. So first thing Baba said about spiritual meeting. Your children have come from very long distance and father has also come from long distance. And there is a raunak and there is splendor in this meeting. So this spiritual meeting is not an ordinary meeting. This spiritual meeting is very unique. This spiritual meeting is wonderful meeting. And in this spiritual meeting, you have company of father. Sat, wonderful bath. His company, this is the wonderful bath. His sat is wonderful bath. Bath is thing. It's a wonderful thing that you have company of that father. This is a very beautiful sentence in the Murli. Bap ka saat ye hai wonderful baat. His company is such a beautiful, such a wonderful thing in this world. So, firstly, Baba talked about spiritual meeting. Father has come, children have come. Such a beautiful place, such a beautiful meeting. And Baba also said, this is the most beautiful day. Suhavna din. But, Suhavne te suhana. But the most beautiful of all is the Father. This is the most beautiful day and the most beautiful of all is one Father. So this day is very beautiful. Which day? When is that? Only 15th November? Hmm? Father comes to meet his children when? Is he coming only on one day? Every day is a beautiful day. When the Mad Hatter Mad Hatter asks Alice, what is this? What is the time? She says, she, Alice asks Mad Hatter, what is the time? So Mad Hatter says, today it is Wednesday. She said, I asked time. She said, he says, and then she asks, your watch is not showing the time? So he asks Alice, does your watch show year of the day, which year it is? So Alice says, what is the need of showing for a watch to show the year? Because year is always the same. So he says, what is the need to show the time? Because it is always tea time. Because it is always tea time here. So what is the need? It is always the day of enjoyment. It is always the day of celebration. It is always the, it is always the time of enjoyment. It is always the time of feasting. It is always the time of dancing. So what is the need? So, Yesterday's Murli Baba said, experience the happiness. In this knowledge, you be cheerful, you be serious and you should have a broad intellect and with that experience happiness. There is a reign of knowledge here. You are in that splendor. So the first thing is spiritual meeting. What are the specialities of spiritual meeting? This is then homework which you, all of you can write. What is the speciality of this meeting? 
such a unlimited meeting is going on god is sitting there and all his children are in front what a deep silence can you find such a meeting anywhere in any corner of the world impossible you cannot such a pin drop silence he is coming and see the way he talks the way he speaks his everything is so unique so this spiritual meeting is unique this spiritual meeting there is a splendor hidden in this spiritual meeting ronak and there is a company of spiritual father and this is the wonderful thing so first point is spiritual meeting second point is there are no excuses and no objections here etras bahane and etras it is not here in this meeting there are no excuses there are no objections in this spiritual meetings so i was thinking about spiritual excuses and spiritual objections what excuses we make in life our we are not able to progress just because of this one thing we make excuses we are addicted to making excuses physical excuses mental excuses and spiritual excuses physical excuses my body is not well i am sick body is not helping all everything related to body lot of physical excuses baba said even if you get fracture come on the stretcher to listen to the murli this is baba's mahavakya baba has said even if you get fracture come on the stretcher and listen to murli but don't miss the murli because if you miss you have missed something something very great probably which you will never know how will you explain day before yesterday there was one sentence in the murli how would you tell knowledge to others when you yourself don't listen the murli what knowledge you would have if you don't listen the murli so excuses physical excuses no matter what is happening to the body i have headache i have this i have abdominal pain i have back ache i have pain here i have pain there i am not feeling well and this and that all these excuses okay but that doesn't mean that you do not read or do not listen to murli no matter what happens to the body it's good that you you live the body that also baba has said you live the body while listening to murli you will get great status good status if that happens so second point is excuses so first in that is bodily excuses physical excuses second mental excuses what are the mental excuses i can't churn i can't remember my mind is not working i don't know what has happened to my mind earlier it was very sharp now what is it has become very dull you are very intellectual i am not i am emotionally weak i don't know if somebody says something to me i just feel like to cry for no reason i feel i like to cry emotional weaknesses second all these excuses third spiritual excuses drama fortune baba probably doesn't want me to serve any more probably baba wants that i should take rest for some time from gyan yoga <laughs> spiritual excuses don't give spiritual excuses for material negligence when you are neglecting your seva or duty and you give spiritual excuses don't give that don't give spiritual uh, excuses for material negligence actually there is no material work but still for your laukik seva don't bring spiritual excuses in between 1899 a uh, article had come or was published a message to the garcia it was written by edward hubbard and it became very very famous there is a story in that message to garcia there was a american spanish war going on and american president had to deliver a message to a person 
who was the uh, army chief whose name was garcia he was deep into that cuba valley somewhere in the coast of cuba but there was not a single person who would take that message of the president of america to that garcia but then somebody said there is one person rowan that rowan can take your message that that rowan was called he was given that uh, that message and then that rowan took that message strapped it around his chest and he just started off and he went into that deep and coast of cuba valley and somehow with lot of difficulty he searched that garcia and delivered that message and came back handed over the message and came back headed towards home he became so famous why because that rowan did not ask where is garcia how will i reach him how to reach him where to search him he did not ask anything president told take this letter and go to garcia and he took the letter and in that valley he just went alone without anybody's help so this story is told and retold many times in all the corporate institutes why don't give excuses i can't give i can't understand how i can do this i don't have knowledge needless excuses lame excuses what task is given take it and do it that's it rather than saying how to do how to do how to go where to go i can't do leg pain this pain that pain <laughs> all excuses so this was published long back but even till to this date this story is told and this is quite famous so famous letter to garcia it is known as letter to garcia letter to garcia if in the corporate institution the boss tells something he adds remember letter to garcia you have to give the message to garcia no matter what difficulties come no matter where you have to go you search him wherever you want to search him you search him you are given full freedom but don't make excuses that i don't know how can i reach to baba said spiritual in this spiritual meeting there are no etraz and there are no bahane there are no objections and there are no excuses because everybody came baba is happy to see and baba's happiness lies in the happiness of children that is also one statement is there in the murli baba's happiness is in happiness of children so if we are addicted to making excuses excuse game we need to get over it second point is this third point first spiritual meeting second spiritual excuses third spiritual exhaustion tiredness ha huh? objections is same thing you take objections to many thing it's all baba has used together as a phrase like uh, you object how can i do this it is not possible you have given me the seva but i have limitations so you ob- give a ob- lot of etraz whatever you have lot of objections something very much similar to excuses no excuses there is but to do and die and that's the rule of army there is not to reason why and but to do and die don't say why where how when which just take the thing and baba will help you baba will definitely help you second is this third is spiritual exhaustion baba said if somebody gets tired in this journey and is about to leave the knowledge what to do as take that person to a yogi and let him meet that yogi for 5 minutes me let that person meet a yogi for 5 minutes and he will get charged so spiritual exhaustion tiredness thakan if comes what to do everybody gets tired in this journey sometime because there are a lot of uh, ups and downs in this spiritual journey of purusharth of effort so what to do here you have to take the help of other yogis you have to take the help of sangathan if they take the help of company gathering of spiritually elevated souls of those who are on a higher spiritual caliber higher spiritual rang so take the help of those souls so if there is a spiritual tiredness exhaustion at any point of time take the help of gathering that will help you to uplift so spiritual exhaustion this is again a topic to churn what are the causes of spiritual exhaustion how to get over this spiritual exhaustion this thakan this tiredness baba said in this murli take him and let him meet a yogi for 5 minutes 
are you remembering the murli yeah good so <laughs> so let that person meet a yogi for 5 minutes then other is spiritual tour baba is talking about delhi baba has said in Ur- in abu there is hardly anything that is left to be seen now i was thinking i myself have not seen abu till now there are so many mountains here and there baba said you have almost seen abu there is hardly anything left in the abu to be seen now you come to delhi if you have not seen delhi you have not seen anything if you have not seen the capital you have not seen anything you must see the capital because here your future capital is going to be established you if you have seen this you have seen everything so this is a sort of spiritual tour but again you can now convert this into into spiritual meaning baba is talking us to do spiritual tourism spiritual sightseeing sometimes go to subtle world sometimes go to supreme abode sometimes go to your a uh, new world sometimes come to madhuban sometimes move over all the different places of madhuban sometimes go to different different centers sometimes place different places on this planet earth this is tourism go there take photographs take things from there enjoy have fun lot of things whatever you do in sightseeing so baba is talking about spiritual tour this is the fourth thing one more thing who will remain who can fly there is one question in the murli who can fly baba has said when there is love and enthusiasm in your heart that time you can fly when there is love and enthusiasm it's somewhere here only at the starting when there is love and enthusiasm in your heart that time you can fly otherwise you cannot otherwise you will get tired baba has also said in spiritual touring that if suppose somebody ha- is enthusiastic and he likes that place he will not get tired in that tour but if you are not interested then of course you will get tired so this is a very short murli but baba has touched some of the deepest aspects of spiritual life like spiritual exhaustion like spiritual excuses spiritual objections spiritual touring spiritual meeting spiritual enthusiasm spiritual love and so on so forth so and last question where did baba come in shantivan or delhi this we had discussed here also yes. the answer is and there is also place called jaipur baba said you have already seen everything in abu also the places like jaipur you can go so <laughs> nearest nearest is jaipur so palace is in jaipur whatever so as we had discussed that that time also there is a medical reason also for such thing such digression from the main topic that suddenly baba is going to delhi and, and so on so forth because you have to see that uh, chariot also right now dadi is in mumbai and dadi is probably going to come just before baba's day so you know it requires for the now the brain is also like that it requires some time for getting orientation <laughs> so are you ready for mumbai tour <laughs> so whatever we need to because everything he has told what is there to be told now look at the murli is right from 69 till now so deep murli so deep points almost every topic under the sun has been touched there is no topic remaining you cannot say that baba has not told this this is out of syllabus you cannot say syllabus has already been completed 6th 26 june 1969 avyakt murli 26 june 1969 the study ends here the mau baba has come only for meeting when he is telling this 69 he is telling 26 june 1969 study has study is finished now the baba will come only for meeting children so study is already finished you are late whose fault it is it is your fault why you took admission late you should have come early and now you say that baba is just telling all this there is no new things in this in these murlis nowadays people say nowadays baba is not giving talking murli too much are you go back to 69 study right from 69 till 80s and 90s so deep murlis you have not studied all of them 
and then you say that oh baba is not telling anything baba is just telling the same thing again and again again and again harping on the same tune so it's not like that even even if you take this this is so deep just take one word and churn about it and understand so you will understand what a depth it has got so there are a lot of limitations so whether whether baba's voice is that uh, soft and uh, that stifled voice or the normal voice of dadi ji that doesn't matter what you have to do with voice or with god <laughs> so <laughs> whether it takes you anywhere even if you say this is night even if he says this is not day and night it is it is night because that is the love a devotee of god never ask questions god whatever the beloved desire or wish he accepts that so even if he says anything it has to be we have to accept it as true because that's our law because we we have recognized him because we have known the ultimate truth and he is the truth nothing can be greater than him so read this murli today again find out some new points and whatever four things i told spiritual excuses spiritual meeting spiritual touring and spiritual exhaustion uh, churn on them om shanti